Hey! Yes, I know how much Nikon has improved autofocus capabilities on the Z6 and Z7 cameras. When those came out, a lot of people, including me, with common sense that we're not total Nikon fanboys. You know, said the guy that has Nikon tattooed on his hand, you know, has owned more Nikon cameras than God and has hundreds of Nikkor lenses. I was like, no, no. Not gonna buy the Z6, not gonna buy the Nikon uh, Z7. Single card slot cameras, no vertical grip capability. Even the manager of Nikon Europe, whose first name is Dirk, yeah, a big monolithic guy, even he said these are not professional cameras. Z50 is competition for the X-T30. Very well priced, love the ergonomics on it. Great little camera. The X-T30 actually has a joystick and superior autofocus and a lot of other better features. So Nikon is improving things, but I, I actually can't recommend the Z cameras. I'm not like ditched Nikon or anything like that. Not sold any Nikon cameras. You know, here I'm holding Nikon D850. Here's a Nikon D500. Couple Nikon D4s. What else? D3, D3S, 2D, 2D500. Still love Nikon. Um, this video, however, is about timeless Nikon cameras. Cameras that uh, have stood the test of time. Their uh, resale value is incredibly high. This is true of cars. There could be like some these earmarked cars. They just they sell like hotcakes when you list them for sale. It's like they're way better cars with better performance, but these cars are timeless. Nikon actually has cameras like that. Let me list them for you in no particular order. Nikon D3, Nikon D3S. Yeah, currently have both those cameras. I've owned like a dozen Nikon D3s. Not the D3X. D3X had performance issues. They tried to push the system too far. It's a perfectly fine camera. It still sells too high and is no way in hell worth it. Nikon D4, D4S. A lot of people send me emails about, well, I found a used D4S. Ridiculous. They're, they're still selling Nikon D4Ss for the price of a Nikon, a, a minty used Nikon D. There's just no way you should buy a Nikon D4S. Not because it's not a great camera, but because it's too damn expensive. But if you find a lunatic that has a D4S, really cheap, great, get it. But there are really none out there. Not the Nikon D4. I made a video just a few days ago saying, listen, right now you can get a great Nikon D4 for a thousand bucks. Good shapes, not beat the hell. A thousand bucks a Nikon D4 is epic tatas. I mean, that, 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 that camera is the cat's ass. Tougher than woodpecker lips. One hell of a great camera. You basically can't clip the highlights on a Nikon D4. Nikon D4 is frigging amazing. D4S would be it too, but it's too damn high. But it's still a timeless Nikon camera. This is rated upon what it is, not its freaking price. So D3, D3S, D4, D4S, Nikon D500. I was the first person on YouTube that told everybody that everybody, Nikon's going to sell the hell out of this camera. And I was 100% right. Everybody said I was full of crap, didn't know what I was talking about. And I was vindicated 1,000%. Vindicated. Totally vindicated. Every bird photographer on earth owns an Nikon D500 and a 200-500 Nikkor. Also, too, the Nikon D700. Amazing output. You can get them really, really cheap right now. Nikon D700 is amazing. Most of them, however, have been beat to hell. There's not anyone, any really D700s left, or some, you know, that haven't had the hell beat out of them. But, I mean, if you could find one at, you know, 400 bucks or so that hasn't had the hell beat out of it, great, but it's a timeless Nikon camera. Extremely well made, incredible. It's basically like a poor man's Nikon D4. Awesome. And then lastly, and everybody's going to say, what about the D750? I've owned a couple D750s, yeah? The D7, before I get to the last Nikon camera, that's a timeless Nikon camera. Well, everybody says, what about D750? <laughs> I got D750. D750 has great dynamic range. It has great output, but it's had four freaking recalls. Its autofocus is not so awesome. If you're doing uh, architecture, portraiture, landscape, great. But it's had four recalls. It's had four recalls. No, the camera has been a plague. It's literally been a boil on the ass of Nikon. It literally has. D750 gave Nikon a black eye because of their shutter mech problems. Four recalls. 
I can't recommend. You would never even think about buying a used D750. No way in hell. Even think about, well, what about a D750? Everybody keeps saying, what about a D750? The answer is no. It's like, why? The image of D750 are so great. Yes, they are. And yet, still, no. That's the reason why. So last night, on D850, that's timeless. It's going to hold its value. I was the first person on YouTube to say this, by the way. Is this the Nikon D850? Jack of all trades, master of all trades. Right now, you can find a great used one for about $2,000, $2,200, which is amazing for this camera. Absolutely amazing. Love the fact that uh, you can uh, get the uh, special uh, vertical grip plug and use the EN EL18B battery, which gives it less blackout time for hardcore sports action wildlife, less blackout time for the autofocus module to reacquire for action. So that's it. These are the cameras that are the timeless Nikon DSLRs. D3, D3S, D4, D4S, Nikon D700, Nikon D500, and of course Nikon D850. Um, if next year, it won't be uh, this year, and that it'll be next year, it'll be a, uh, a uh, and of course the Nikon, uh, the, the new uh, D750 replacement did come out. No to that camera. Someone's going to ask me about that. What about the D780? What about the D750? Up? No. 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 Absolutely 100%. No. Um, the sensor that's going to go on the next uh, Nikon, which will be the Z8, is this sensor, the IMX455 AQR, Sony sensor, 61.4 megapixels, backside illuminated camera. There is no chance in hell, even though Nikon has been acting like a lobotomized, brain-dead fool. Yes, I said that. Lobotomized, brain-dead fool is what Nikon's been acting like for the past year and a half. They have no chance in hell of them dropping the Z8 without vertical grip capability or a dual card slot. There just ain't no chance. There's just no chance. The, uh, also, too, I was perfectly valid not to recommend the Z6 and Z7 because Nikon was testing their little pinky toes in the new waters of mirrorless camera technology. With They, they did get it right. The price point on the Nikon Z50 is great. I've had it in my hands a few times. I've used it once. It's like, this is a camera. This is a nice camera. But still, the X-T30 is a way better camera. It is. It's a way better camera. I could never recommend the Z6 and Z7 for countless valid empirical reasons. You know, I'm a Nikon fanboy. got tons of Nikon stuff. Can't recommend them. Let's wait and see what the Z8 is. They should announce at the end of this year, or could come out at the end of this year. But that's the new sensor for it, the 61 megapixel, 61.4 megapixel sensor. It will have dual card slots. It should definitely have vertical grip capability. That could be one hell of a freaking camera from Nikon. None of this, however, changes the fact that those freaking Z lenses, oh God, those freaking Z lenses that Nikon makes are horrible. They're just, they're junky. I don't care how much you love Nikon. I mean, I've spent way more money on Nikon gear than you ever will. I mean, that's a fact. There's not a one of you that spent more money on Nikon gear than I have. None of you have. There might be one person, maybe one. Those Z lenses, no! Do you hear me, Nikon? Do you hear me, Nikon? Hello, Nikon. And your Z-series lenses. No! <laughs> no! No, thank God for the FTZ adapter. However, there's no autofocus capability with D-series lenses. Now, if Nikon really wanted to pull off, do something completely contrary to what they haven't been doing for the past two years and, like, surprise people in a good way... They could come up with a new adapter that would have autofocus capabilities with screw drive lenses. If Nikon, hey Nikon, you listening Nikon? If you want to succeed with your Z8, needs two card slots, needs a vertical grip, we know you're improving autofocus, all that crap, make it a better system. Give it a good joystick. If you really want to, you know, hit a home run Nikon, make sure your Z8 has a, uh, a new adapter and I know it requires, you know, a motor to drive. Yeah, that motor doesn't suck that much energy. Yeah, the new Z8 would have to have a bigger battery than the current ENEL15 battery. Needed a bigger battery. Have a uh, adapter for autofocusing screw drive lenses Nikon. 
Man, that would be a perfect home run. I would be the first person to get on my knees and kiss Nikon's butt right in the crack. It's like, here, back it up, Nikon. Beep, beep, beep. I'll kiss your butt right in the crack. You come out with a Z8 camera. With two card slots, vertical grip capability, and a new adapter for autofocusing screw drive D series lenses, many of which are epic. Like a three, I know. I have to go as far as that one. AFS, no. I was about to talk about screw drive 300mm 2.8s, but let's not go down that road. Woo! I, like, I almost knocked my Nikon D500 off the table. I've had too much coffee today! <laughs> but seriously, if you do that Nikon, I will kiss your butt right in the crack. Man. Yeah. Mental note, drink less coffee before making videos. <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't this video about timeless Nikon cameras? Yes, yes it was. So those are the timeless Nikon cameras. <sighs> I want to see what the Z8... Man, I had no idea. Nikon has been rolling out one disappointment after another lately. The Z6, no. Z7, no. Z50, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, X-T30 still blows it the hell away. Oh my god, that Nikon D6. It's not even a D6 at all. Everybody, by the way, on the internet, everybody, I was the first person to say it. First. The first person. I called it. It's not a D6, I said. I said, this is a Nikon D5S. Everybody copied me. Everybody. I said it. And that's exactly what it is. Man, that Nikon D6, i.e. the D5S. What a lame disappointment. Nikon, you really, you really screwed up hardcore on that one that was an abysmal failure with a capital f as in f, f that yeah f is an f that oh what a bad camera was that well does it perform really yeah obviously it performs better than icon d5 and i could what's the hate about it it was nothing <laughs> There was nothing there. <laughs> what a disappointment. You made everybody wait. That's <laughs> so long. <laughs> you made everybody wait so long for that failure, Nyakon. Ah! <sighs> God, what a failure. I hope the God Nikon wakes up and uh, they make the Z8 a camera worth recommending and buying. You know, but maybe I'm crazy, you know, only been fixing these cameras for decades and, you know, owned every major Nikon DSLR ever made and more Nikon lenses than basically anybody. Yeah, maybe I'm the fool. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. Every camera that I told you not to buy from Nikon is exactly what happened and not because of me it's because I, I said listen i told you i said listen nikon is gonna bite it on this and they they did bite it they did not my opinion they did bite it when they came out with those stupid key mission gopro knockoffs i said nikon's gonna lose their ass on this this is a failure they were a failure a guy I know is in the photo industry. He's been in the photo industry for now nearly 30 plus years. And look at me. If I'm lying, I'm dying. He told me this is the first time ever on a new Nikon camera where nobody ordered one when it was announced and all the specs and everything. And that was on the new Nikon D6. He said, Ken, can't tell you who it is. He said, Ken, this is the first time ever nobody has pre-ordered one of those cameras with me. Nobody. He said, it's never happened before. In 30 years, never happened. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Yeah. <sighs> Serious as a heart attack. Wait for it. Wait for it.